Are you ready for the keynote of this summit? I hereby present to you the man, the legend, Patrick Friday, the CEO of Few Storefront. He will take you over the story of the origin of Few Storefront in 2017 and then all the twists and turns that it took to become the product that it is right now. So without further ado, here is Patrick for you. Let's rock, my friend. Team, thank you so much for making such a great introduction of myself. And again, my name is Patrick Friday, and this is the keynote. This is the, the opening uh, keynote for this uh, very first in our history of View Storefront Summit. And uh, we all thought that it would be amazing to show you and tell the story, the history behind View Storefront. I want to explain what had happened to us to get where we are today. What were the beginnings of your storefront? Because some of you joined us very lately. Some of you are with us from the very beginning. And I want to make sure that all of you are aware of the struggles, of the successes, and everything we had to do to get where we are. On the beginning, probably not many of you know exactly where I come from and what I do and what I did. So I'm Patrick Friday. I come from Poland. Uh, I am uh, the business-oriented founder at View Storefront. I was studying in Copenhagen international business and marketing uh, for, for more than four years. Uh, I was doing 10 years of B2B sales uh, from the very beginning of my career. When I was on the second year of my studies, I already started to work as sales executive at Copenhagen Marriott Hotel where I learned this excellent of service, going the extra mile, and this stayed with me until today. I entered the e-commerce space in 2012, and I was very lucky because I ended up as early employee at Vivino. As you know, currently Vivino has more than 50 million users. They are the most popular wine app scanning uh, for, uh, for, for finding the labels uh, of your wines, making it your favorite. Uh, I was very focused on uh, mobile apps for e-commerce because Vivino was the one, right? Uh, so so e-commerce was always with me from the very beginnings. And I actually even started my own e-commerce store when I was living in Copenhagen. When I decided that I want to go back to Poland, I couldn't run it anymore. So I decided to sell it and I came back to Poland. So when we started with Storefront, we basically tried to solve the real problem. We never even thought we want to make View Storefront a business. We just wanted to solve something that we realized is a real issue and we were struggling with. So that was back in 2017. At that point, uh, we were still a part of, Magento, uh, of, of Divante, which was the Magento agency. And uh, Divante uh, was doing Magento since 2000 nine right at 2016 uh, and 2017 uh, we saw a massive shift of traffic going from desktop to mobile but optimizing magento front end was close to impossible we would still increase the budgets we would tell uh, our clients they have to pay more but we're gonna get there but it was it was never ending story we would keep doing the improvements but those improvements did not get where we wanted to be so we started to look around and as i had background in mobile apps i said well let's do a mobile app for them but not many of those companies actually wanted the, the native app at the first place they didn't have the money to do so but i was also following the progressive web application development AliExpress, Alibaba, Twitter, Flipkart, uh, OLX, and, and many other companies, not also e-commerce like Tinder, Uber, all of those companies implemented PWA. So I said, guys, let's have a look at PWA. Maybe this is something we can use. At the first glance, we realized that implementing PWA from scratch is going to be extremely expensive. So we thought, okay, let's try to do a framework out of it. Let's try to do some kind of components that we can reuse. Let's make a code that will make it simple for us to start. And let's find a customer that would like to, uh, to, get, uh, to get started with us. On the beginning, we tried to build uh, PWA with React. 
we saw that it was not very efficient. Uh, it was very hard to get up and running. And then Filip Rakowski said, guys, I heard about uh, Vue.js. Let me try to do it uh, with Vue.js. He did that. He did the proof of concept three times faster than the other team with React. And uh, basically, we said, OK, cool. We're going to use React. What should we call it? Well, we're using Vue.js. It's a storefront. Vue storefront. Here we go. So at August 15, 2017, first comment, Vue storefront was born at Divante and Piotr Karvatka did that first commit. So this is a beginning of a beautiful history of Vue storefront. Of course, we started with focusing on Magento, and that was our focus for a very long time. September 15, 2017, first logo, first website, not very pretty, but at least we shipped it. November 26, 2017, first proof of concept is live. The version 0 0.1.0. Proof of concept with basic features. Homepage, product card, the listing of the product, sidebar cards, card static page, and PWA manifest. February 2018, our first blog post and tweet, and now a little bit of shaming of my co-founder, uh, Filip Rakowski. As you can see on the right side, there is view storefront, is fast and radically easy to learn. I think Philip at that point did not have Grammarly. Sorry, Philip, I had to. February 21, 2018, first ever view storefront merch. Only 25 pieces were made. So if you are the owner of this t-shirt, you should be very proud. I suggest put it in a frame. Don't wash it too much. It might be a part of a huge history at some point. March, 2000, March 18, 2018, first 1,000 GitHub stars. This is something that made us very proud. I remember we had a great party. And this is the moment to celebrate. And all of those kind of things, the, the little steps, those matters, you should celebrate them with your team. April 19, 2018, the very famous red button was created. So as we were going to the very first uh, Magento Imagine in Las Vegas, we were thinking, what can we do to make it uh, you know, more uh, visible for people, make it fun, make it make them come to our booth and you know stop for a second so we can at least talk to them so we created the button and as you can see when you press the button it would load up our demo site and it would show you that this this site loaded in just two seconds so for many people that was like whoa that's a great speed let's talk so that is the very famous button it still exists and it's with us very first view store from hackathon may 19 2018 made at Divante headquarters in Wrocław. As you can see, many people joined. Filip Rakowski is there, Piotr Karwatka is there. That was uh, something uh, that started a series of those hackathons because the feedback was amazing. View Storefront 1.0 is live, May 30, 2018. Huge milestone for View Storefront. That was officially very first fully production ready uh, version of View Storefront that went live. July 2nd, 2019, launch of Product Hunt, second place of Product Hunt, and then also another very famous, if some of you are, for, are with us from the very beginning, you know that this GIF is used very often on our Slack channel, uh, on our community Slack, and uh, how cool is that is something that made Philip famous also inside Divante and any other uh, people that used to know us. September 27, 2018, Three k stars in just one year. I think it's a great milestone. One year, 3,000 stars on GitHub. It made us the fastest growing open source uh, project for e-commerce frontend and top PWA because we didn't really have any uh, competition on that on that uh, on that uh, on, at that time. That was growing so fast. We also had more than 25 official partners and 700 developers in our community. November 7, 2018, new logo, fresh branding, new badges. We had uh, set new badges for our co-partners. Uh, we made a new fresh logo. As you remember, the previous one was not very pretty. And that logo and this branding stayed with us until today. 2018, more than 80 Magento partners in our ecosystem. So that was by the end of the year. You can see co-partners, people that really put a lot of efforts into making sure that View Storefront was what it is currently. 
right? We would not be here if those partners wouldn't support us, if they wouldn't organize hackathons, if they wouldn't make implementations of your storefront, if they wouldn't give feedback to us. All of the developers working at those agencies, thank you so much. 2019. So that was the year of the key decisions that we took for the company future. January 14, 2019, 1,000 developers in our community. That's amazing. Another great milestone to have. January 31, uh, 31st, sorry, 2019, Philip becomes an official Vue.js community partner. And from that time, uh, as you all know, Philip was joining a lot of Vue.js uh, events. He was, uh, he was on Vue.js uh, conference in Toronto. He was in Vue.js con conference in Amsterdam. So that showed the appreciations from us to Vue.js, but they also showed it back to us. And we are always supporting a whole Vue.js community as much as we can. The beginning of Shopper PWA. So I remember I sat in my car in Wrocław, eight hour drive to Shoppingen in Germany for the very first uh, Shopper partner day in 2019. And that was the beginning of Shopware PWA. This is when we finalized uh, our partnership agreement. This is when we decided and got aligned on our plans on the vision. And we started to work on Shopware PWA. So as you can see, the journey and the development time of this uh, product has been there for a long time. I started the GitHub pull up challenge. So if some of you remember, we were at approximately four and a half thousand stars at that time. I decided I will do one pull up for every GitHub star I, we will get to our repo over the day, right? So if on Monday, from Monday to Tuesday, if you would get 15 stars, I would do a 15 pull ups. I would record it, post it on Twitter, and post it on Slack. Shame on me. You can all laugh. You can all shame me. No problem with that. Uh, I stopped doing this at some, at some point. And if you now on the chat will write a lot of comments and a lot of, you know, uh, emojis or whatever that I should continue doing that, first of all, I would have to do approximately 4,000 pull-ups to catch up on the 4,000 uh, GitHub stars that we got since that moment. And I will continue that trend later on. I have a pull-up bar now in my uh, small office in my apartment, so it should not be a problem anymore. May 2024, 2019, first version of Shopper PWA was released. Huge milestone. We promoted that on the Shopper Community Day. Uh, we got a lot of great feedback, and we continued the development uh, of Shopper PWA. May 2028, 2019, Storefront UI got announced. Uh, we got uh, four, fourth place on the product hunt. The reason behind... Uh, uh, storefront UI again. It was a real problem for us. We wanted to make the development easier. We wanted to give you ready-to-use components. We wanted to give you like a cookbook how to make such components. And it was always the focus for better time to market and making sure that developers can implement your storefront even faster. June 28, 2019, huge milestone, 5,000 uh, GitHub stars. I think that this is a very nice round number. Now we really hope that by the end of this year, we can hit more than 10,000 GitHub stars. So if any of you didn't give us a star yet, please go to our repo and click the star button. Thank you. October 23, 2019, the very first enterprise client, Zadig and Volter, Jonathan Ribas, the CTO at Zadig and Volter at that time, is presenting his journey to start and get approval, and she's showing the, the, the final results of implementation uh, for PWA on Zadig and, for, and, and Volter. Unfortunately, what happened, last minute, Magento uh, decided uh, that Jonathan couldn't mention that this PWA was made with Vue Storefront. They just told him, you can say it's PWA, but not Vue Storefront. I believe that the reason was that they just wanted to think that Jonathan used PWA Studio for this project. I don't think it's very fair uh, towards uh, towards us. Uh, it's one of those things when people are making it uh, a, a, a bit harder for us. We were supporting Magento, Magento community for such a long time. Like we currently have more than 300 live cases 
Most of them are on Magento. We are a huge addition to the Magento community. And it just made us and Jonathan very sad because Jonathan, after all, was, was using you know, View Storefront. And uh, we wanted to make it to make it clear. Unfortunately, it was not. And until today, we don't know why and what exactly happened. December 13, 2019, first ever live core team hangout. We decided that it would be great to give you an ongoing updates every month or every two months about what's going on. We wanted to make it in the very interactive way. Uh, we wanted to make it a live stream where you can ask the questions after we present you the update of what we did in the last weeks and what is the plan for the next weeks. December 19, 2019. That was the date where everything has changed for us. We decided that we will officially announce View Storefront Next that we were planning to do for a very long time after we realized that our in initial architecture that were focused on Magento will not be such a great fit if you wanted to have your storefront work on another platform. So we tested it out, didn't work. As we were doing research of different uh, backend platforms, we wanted to make sure that first of all, they are API focused, they are truly headless platform, and they don't really have such a big focus on the front end. It's, it's just focused on the back end. And for all of the platforms that we researched, we picked commerce tools to focus on as we were doing the development on View Storefront next. Then also the final decision to spin off from Divante, so we didn't want to be a part of agency anymore, was made. The reason Divante could not give us enough resources because it is an agency. They make money on implementations. Investments into the product is 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 a lost money. I mean, it's a lot not not lost money, but you know, it's an investment that you have to wait for, and it's a bit different motivations. And it was very hard for us to focus strictly on the product, and we wanted to build amazing things. So we made an agreement with Devante shareholders, and we made finally uh, the full uh, spin-off agreement, and we could start the fundraising process. As you know. We are the open source company. If you are using View Storefront on MIT license, we don't get any kind of payments, no benefits, nothing. So it was very hard for us to spin off and be profitable for the one, pay everyone the, the salary. So we decided to start fundraising process. December 23, 2019, we announced the proof of concept integration with commerce tools based on View Storefront Next. 2019. So this is this this says everything. There is a mask. The COVID hit. January 30, 2020, uh, Bad Roszkowski is joining the storefront as the CEO and late co-founder. Uh, Bart came to us as a very experienced founder. Uh, he had 15 years of experience running companies at that point. He started three companies, he sold three companies. And we needed that experienced person to help us with the fundraising, to help us with running the operations on the company. So I could focus on sales, marketing, vision, strategy, and Philip could focus on the architecture, the vision for the product, building the tech team. So I would say that with Bart on board, we finally could say that we have a dream team where everyone has his own specialization and we can continue to grow with focusing on our own things. February 17, very sad day for us. That was the last hackathon before the COVID really hit. As you know, at least in Poland, that was the beginning of, uh, of March. Uh, the last one uh, was in, in Amsterdam. Uh, as you can see, we did hackathons all over the place. We had more than 21 hackathons since the beginning before a uh, hit uh, of the COVID. April 8th, 2020, accelerator with commerce tools. So at that point, that integration was not just a proof of concept. It was an actual MVP. And we had companies that implemented this. We decided to create, create an accelerator together with commerce tools to speed up uh, the commerce creation for any companies after the hit of the COVID. That was a very quick reaction. But at the same time, I would like to say a huge thank you to the whole Lovecraft team, to Halil, the CTO, 
Edward, the, the CEO, that put so much trust into us. They put so much trust into believing that the proof of concept we showed them uh, will continue to grow. They invested a lot of money into our open source integration with commerce tools, and they are uh, one of the biggest supporters and probably we wouldn't be where we are today in terms of commerce tools, if not of Lovecraft. So again, guys, thank you so much. June 23rd, 2020, probably one of the best things uh, in e-commerce world happened uh, in 2020, Mach Alliance was created and View Storefront decided to join it on June 23rd. And since then, we have a huge focus on working closely with Mach Alliance SIs, Mach Alliance technology vendors to bring you the best of breed technologies together to build your next generation e-commerce. Also at that point, we probably already had more than 100 meetings with VCs. Uh, so you can just imagine running everything, having five, six calls a day uh, with, with different venture capital companies uh, to make sure that they understand what we do and that we pick the right investor for the future of uh, View Storefront growth. August 6, 2020, also very important day, proof of concept integration with Shopify. Uh, Ariata Labs created that, uh, they did amazing job. And I know that this was continued since then. And later on during the next presentations today and tomorrow, this will be shown to you. November 25, 2020, magic day. So officially View Storefront becomes an independent entity. We signed the papers, we created a new company and we were ready to take on the investment. So December 1st, 2020, together with Philip and Bart, we went to Warsaw. We signed the VC agreement and raised one and a half million dollars as the seed round for your storefront. As we did that, we, get, we went back to our car, drove back to Wrocław. A couple of weeks earlier, we uh, decided that we're gonna uh, apply for Y Combinator because why not? And then after we came back the same day at 6 p.m., we get a call from Y Combinator and Jared, that you can see on the, on the screen here, told us that we got accepted. So imagine what a day. In the morning, you sign the VC agreement, and then in the afternoon, you get into the best accelerator for startup in the world. December 29, 2020, as the finish of the year, uh, we had our very first commerce tools uh, site implementation going live. What is even better is the B2B food services marketplace. So it's amazing use case of combination of view storefront and commerce tools. And here I would like to say a huge thank you to Minecorp and Fubble that believed in us and decided to use combination of view storefront and commerce tools for this project. 2021, it's all about partnerships. So to give you an overview, when we were part of Divante, it was very hard to sign any partnership agreement with any of our partners. Every time we would like to sign it, there was Divante name on it. And Divante is, in most cases, a competition to other SIs on the market. So we couldn't be that efficient into signing those. So we would be working with most of those partners already, but we couldn't find any official papers and announce it in the way as we probably did and probably you saw that from the beginning of 2021. So here uh, in Q1 2021, we got recognized by the biggest e-commerce agencies, DMI, Overdose, E2X, Emakina, ACL, Divante, Michael, RearU, Valtech, Born, Wundermar Thompson Commerce, and Royal Cyber. And we have so much more coming on. We have so much more conversations, but it just takes time to onboard everyone. So guys, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your interest. We are lining up all of those workshops for you. We want you to know View Storefront as well as you can. So please just be patient. We're going to schedule those workshops. We have a lot of work right now, but we will get there. Q1 2021, also huge growth. From December 1, 2020, when we became an independent company and we signed VC papers, we grew from 6 to 24 people. And I couldn't be more thankful to the whole team. The guys have been working 
so hard in the first quarter of this year. It, it was insane. We had to write so much more code. We had to do so much new things. We had to lift up the product to the expectations from our partners, from our clients. And the whole team was doing, you know, 200% of what they should be doing. So thank you everyone so much for all your work, all your support. And uh, you will see presentations from most of our team members for the next two days. So please thank them and uh, be grateful of because they are doing everything they can to provide you with the best possible uh, e-commerce front-end framework. Where are we today? 350 live stores from many countries. You can see that. Germany, United States, Poland, UK, France, Netherlands, Finland. We have a lot of implementations going, uh, going on in APAC as well. So it is really growing fast and thank you so much. Also, a very important note, because we got backed by Y Combinator, we are now opening office in San Francisco. Uh, we are setting up a new entity, View Store from Inc. And we're gonna have another entity in States and that will make our life easier. That will make our clients life easier because now we will be able also to have a paperwork, the legal documents done from the US. Now that you know the history, what next? So I think it's not a surprise that View Storefront is becoming a standard bodiless frontend for all major e-commerce platform. For those of you that are seeing bodiless frontend for the first time, very easy explanation. Frontend is the head. Head cannot be headless. Head is without the body. And this will be uh, explained many times in the next presentations, uh, but I believe we have to make a, a new kind of category in, in, in the e-commerce, in the headless commerce space, that front ends like us that do not have any CMS capabilities, that do not have any backend capabilities, that are focusing only on one thing, and that is storefront, we should be called bodiless. We don't have a body. We have no body. We just have a storefront. Uh, another thing is that we will going to remain being 100% developer focused company. View storefront should be seen as dev tool, right? The benefits for the business comes after the implementation is done. Of course, you guys will get quick time to market because we provide all of those uh, out of the box integrations with our enterprise license. You will get an amazing results in terms of performance. You will get the flexibility, but using View Storefront is for developers, not for the business people. The business people will be using different CMSs, as you will show, uh, as you will see on the next presentations, right? You will be able to manage your content from the CMS and see those changes right away on the View Storefront. We made sure that those integrations are on a very high level. You have a lot of components. You can create your own components, but we don't want to take any kind of flexibility, customizations, possibilities from developers. This tool is for you guys, is for developers, and we want you to build amazing things with it. We will continue to monetize View Storefront on our enterprise version. And the main difference is in the enterprise version, you just get much more feature coverage for any different e-commerce platforms. And right now, the main focus is on commerce tools. You will also get it as a cloud native solution. So you will not have to worry about DevOps, about the setup. Everything is, is done for you. So when you get everything from us, you have integration with commerce tools, you have integration with your most favorite CMS system and integrations with other payment providers and anything else that we provide out of the box, right? Also, what I would like to say that we will stay open source forever, right? We do not have plans to suddenly close MIT license. This is for you. And, and the open source is our blood, is our tears. It's, it's from you guys. So we wanted to make it very clear. We have no plans whatsoever to close MIT or open source anytime soon. We will also focus on supporting the MAH architecture, the MAH Alliance. And I would like to invite everyone that feels is you guys have a great fit. You are an SI or you are a technology vendor, apply machalliance.org. See the requirements, join us, help us educate the market 
help us convince more and more companies to migrate from monolith to the headless or and composable commerce let's make it reality together and as the last one i wanted to say that uh, we recently joined the sap io accelerator which means we are now officially going to start our integration with sub hybrids we want to be an alternative for spartacus we want to be alternative for those that do not like to work with angular js but they still would like to have a very good front end which is bodyless uh, and being independent and use Vue.js instead of Angular. So we made a great agreement with SAP and we will make sure that this will not be, you know, competition in terms of, oh, Spartacus will fight with your storefront. We want to see this as a great alternative for those that still would like to use uh, a bodiless front end on top of SAP. Guys, thank you for all of your support through the journey so far. Now I'm gonna step back I'm going to give a voice to Philip. Philip will give you introduction on the more technical aspects, what we did so far. And now I'm going to pour myself a glass of great whiskey and enjoy the rest of our summit. Uh, I, all I can say, have a great day, have a great evening, whatever you are. And guys, thank you so much.